Yo, what is going on people? I am back for another episode of Signature Dish, but this time I'm doing something different. I'm doing my own thing because I'm here in Barbados and I thought, what better to do than making this jerk sauce? So I've got all these ingredients which I plan to just blend together and make two different types of sauces. So I'm going to start off with marinade and then we're going to go inside and cook that marinade up with some different ingredients and make some jerk barbecue sauce to go on top of it. Got a ton of wings, got light brown sugar, tamarind sauce, onions, spring onions, scotch bonnet, which is probably the most important thing you'll ever need in your jerk sauce, ginger, bay leaves, garlic, cloves, allspice, salt, Worcestershire sauce, soy sauce. It's like 15 different ingredients, it's mad. So the start is really easy to make the marinade. So what we're gonna do is open our blender. Cool. All right, so we're gonna start off by doing four cloves of garlic, which are being rough, roughly chopped up. Easy. Then we're gonna take a, light, a finger length worth of ginger, cut that up. Easy. Put that in to blend as well. Then we're gonna take 12 twigs of thyme and just pretty much put in the leaves. Honestly, this recipe is such an easy thing to do, but I guess the timing's like what it should be. Like to make real jerk chicken, you need at least two days. So that's marinating the chicken and then getting all your sides together and just having a day out. All right, so that is enough. Then we're gonna roughly chop the spring onions. So many flies around because all these things are so fresh. Bang! Gordon Ramsay style, killing it. Half a teaspoon of all ground cloves. That should give it like this really like smoky flavor to it. Then we're gonna use three of the bay leaves, straight in. Now, depending on how spicy you want it, you're gonna either wanna take out the seeds or uh, keep them in. These smell so flavorful, it's crazy. And that's why jerk is like, especially known for having this scotch bonnet in, but I'm gonna take those seeds out. And from prior experience doing this, you gotta wash your hands after it because honestly, you touch any certain parts of your body which you may not want to touch, uh, that shit will screw. <laughs> All right, second one. I always love the color on them. Scotch bonnet, get the seeds out. You can always leave a couple in there. So that's two scotch bonnets. Then we are going to use the allspice. One tablespoon. Woo! Got that. Then we are going to put in the sauces. So we're gonna start off with a quarter cup of tamarind sauce. I don't know how easy this is gonna to be to get in England, wherever you are, but Go to any sort of Caribbean place and I'm pretty certain they're gonna have it. Whoop. Quarter cup. Then we're gonna put in our Worcestershire sauce, Heinz of course, and we're putting in half a cup of this. Yo, I'm so gassed with this. Sunny evening, barbecues, perfect recipe, and it's really simple, just get the ingredients. Then we're gonna add in a whole cup of soy sauce, if you take that top bit off, you don't have to deal with the bullshit of just like consistently <laughs> uh, waiting for it to drip out. Whoop, 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 whoop. That is all the soy sauce. Cool. Uh, then we're going to put in cinnamon, a teaspoon of cinnamon. Same thing applies. Okay, I can't take off the top. Free salt. Yeah. Mad flavors going into this, vibe, absolute vibe. Uh, we're gonna dash in a bit of salt as well. Fly is coming. Then we are gonna go with the sugar and put in a tablespoon. Okay, bigger than a tablespoon. There we have it, that's all our ingredients, crazy. Smells so fresh, the strong cinnamon smell. Gonna come over here. 
Let's stick this in the blender. These don't fall off. But... I've got this. Got it. Cool. Blend the lid on. And just blend that up. Slowly so it doesn't overfill, like what's going on now. As you blend it, you're going to smell like the habanero and the scotch bonnet really come through. It smells mad. Absolutely crazy. Blend, blend, blend. All right. There you have it. You're married. You can take that off. And when you smell that, it's going to go straight over your nose. But the flavor's fucking mad. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our chicken wings or whatever part you want to cook them. And also, this is completely vegan. So... Whatever you want to mix that with, you can. So you can have jerk burgers, you can have jerk aubergine, you can pretty much jerk anything in the world. And we are going to put this over to marinade. Perfect. Stir it up. Then all we're going to do from here is wrap it up and stick it in the fridge. So you can leave it in the fridge for like a minimum of an hour, but you can also leave it up to a day. And obviously the longer you deal with it, the better it's going to taste. So I'm going to put cling film in that and then we are going to go upstairs and make the jerk sauce, which you're going to need half of this for. See you then. Yo people, what is going on? So now that we have the jerk chicken all marinated in the jerk paste, it is time to make that jerk sauce. And that's the exact reason why we left this off. And quickly, shout out to Rudy at Paradise Point because he has looked after me, he's put together the barbecue and he's let me film there, which is a really nice thing because some people just be assholes some of the time. So, if you come around here, what we have is the jerk paste, which we saved from earlier, which we've also used on the marinade. We've got about 10 garlic cloves in there. We've got three yellow onions. We've got a handful of ginger, which has been minced. We've got our light soft brown sugar, ketchup, canola oil. So what we're gonna do is start by pouring some canola oil into a pretty deep uh, saucepan and I'm not one of those people that really like deals with ingredients that well so don't worry about like the two tablespoon thing just pour in like a nice amount and while we get that hot we're gonna put everything together chilled see the thing is right I chopped this all beforehand because if I actually took the time to film doing this it just wouldn't happen, like, I go review food, I don't really cook food on camera, so this is my way of doing it. Uh, I'm gonna put this in now. So we're gonna put our onions in. Yeah, that's that noise you want. Sexiest of all noises, maybe. All right, cool, then we can put in our ginger. Whoop. And then our garlic. Bam, bam, bam. Right, cool. So, so, so. Dash it, and we're pretty much gonna stir this round and cook it for about eight minutes until it all softens down. Way too hot. Cool. Yo, so these have been in for about eight minutes now. They're all soft, smells crazy. Love that. So what we're gonna do is get our jerk paste from earlier and we're gonna put in one and a half cups of this. So slowly in. And then just bang that in there. Woo! Woo! Perfect dosing. Okay. So now that's in. I kind of like a bit ghetto, like they have this really cheap barbecue sauces, so I'm going with this today. You need three and a half cups of this. I love this jerk sauce, honestly. So you can actually save it after. And this still remains vegan. If anyone out there can't eat meat, I'm just choosing to use chicken because we're in the Caribbean. And I think some people would have got me in the comments if I didn't make jerk chicken. So that is one. There is a lid on this. One cup. Two cup. Three cup. Look at that pour. Look at the pouring. Okay, 
There's three in there. Then we're going to put in one and a half uh, cups of brown sugar. So when this jerk uh, sauce is actually done, it comes out really, really sweet. And you can just use it like you would use barbecue sauce or ketchup anyway. It's just a lot more flavorful. Shout me out when you make it. Drop me a comment in the Instagram. Do it for the grab. That's Mr. Chris Roach, that is my plug. I have no problems doing that. Okay, cool. That's one and a half cups of sugar in there. And we're good for now. So what we're gonna do, stir that all in. It's on a low simmer. Come together, get that jerk color. Deep, deep, dark brown. The soy sauce, Worcestershire sauce, ketchup. And we're gonna pretty much cook that down for an hour, low simmer, keep checking back on it. But in the meantime, what you can do is take your chicken out. It depends how long it's been. Uh, take your chicken out, get that ready. So I set mine to room temperature before I cook it, but you can also make sides. And what I've done for this side is make fire. And yeah, I know it's in the takeaway box and you might be like, oh, he didn't cook it, he didn't cook it. And I cooked this and I ate most of it on the way. Uh, just fire. So. Jerk chicken, potato salad on a hot summer's day. What we're talking about? It's what we're talking about. Uh, I'm gonna leave that for now. I'm gonna get the barbecue ready, and I'll see you down there. There's the barbecue. Yeah, go. I'm back. It's part three. So that jerk sauce has been cooking for about an hour now. So I just took it off, and I thought, you know, what? I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna get these wings cooked up. They've been marinated for about two hours. Smell crazy flavorful. So what I've done is Rudo, I said Rudy earlier, Rudo has set up this mad barbecue setup. Like it's like the perfect setting, like views crazy, looks absolutely incredible. Like this is a setting that I want, and even if you're in England filming, like embrace it. Like just picture like in the Caribbean. So what I did is I actually oiled this grill beforehand, so hopefully the chicken skin won't stick, and now I'm just gonna put it on one by one. This is really hot, and every single time you put that chicken down, all you want to hear is like that sizzle. Bang! Feel the Caribbean in it, one by one. And I'm going to turn it down to a medium uh, cook, make medium flame. Obviously, I know certain people out there are going to have like their traditional grills, but you know what? I don't have that, so I'm going electric for now. Small flame. All right, there. Every single time I put it down, the smell's absolutely crazy. I love that noise so much. This is happiness right here. Just straight happiness. Woo! Okay, I put a lot of wings on. I wouldn't blame you either. Vibes. All for the vibes. All for the vibes. So you can go in, look at the chicken, and we're just going to cook this on a low heat for about five minutes each side. So what I wanted to mention is you actually do want to turn them more often. So I said leave them for five minutes. Nah, just keep turning it, and they're going to have this beautiful charred colour. Like, look at that. So yeah, just keep turning them, and what you're going to do is, once they're all turned, to make sure they don't dry out, you're going to baste the shape out of them. So I got this. You'll still have that sauce on, which is going to over everything. Barbecue season, man. Can't have anything being dry right now. Nothing's dry in summer. People allow it out again. Have family around. Bring your woman around. Your other half around impress. There we are. Yeah, the smell on this. Kind of impressed with myself, not gonna lie. And then you got all that freshness from all the herbs that are in there as well. And we're gonna just keep cooking these. 
until they are totally on the outside and we can just check the inside and when they're all white all the way through. Because honestly, there's nothing more embarrassing if you're the one doing the barbecuing and you get a pink piece. Like, no one wants that. Crazy. The thing about jerking is you also do want that burn. Like, it's a nice sort of crisp. I love it. I absolutely love it. All right, cool. So when these are done, I'm going to come back. I'm going to show them to you. We're going to put them out, plate them out, and try them. So see you in a bit. Yo, so oven is going off. And by oven, I actually mean grill. These have been cooking for a lot longer than I thought. Like, it is so key to me. If I'm cooking for people, that you make sure that chicken is cooked well on the inside. So I think we've actually left them here for about maybe 30 minutes. But my main thing is if you come in here, you get to see all the different, like, color of this chicken. It's mad. And we're going to do it properly barbecue way, which is going to take it individually, throw them up. It's so important that if you're cooking jerk and it's on the grill, you make sure that stuff is charred. Because that's where the flavor is. All right, cool. So I'm going to just plate up my first one. I'm going to leave the rest of them on there to get hot. I got my Barbados. <laughs> I got my Barbados mat out in front of me. So how I'm going to plate this up is I got my potatoes from earlier, which looks absolutely dope. You know what? Excuse my hands. I don't care. So in the south west of the island, we're going to put the coles the potato salad, it's fire. To the east of the island, we're going to put our wings, which looks so dope. Yeah! People appreciate that little extra effort. Cool. Now, to top the island, you have two of the most essential Bayesian things. Firstly, you got the Bayesian hot sauce, and I guess the jerk sauce. So what I did with that jerk sauce, which was cooking for two hours, is I blended it down into a much smoother sauce. So just in the middle of the island, I'm going to put some of that sauce down. Whoop! Oh. Oh. And then to the north of the island. We're gonna put some pepper sauce. Look at that! Yo, I'm so happy with that, honestly. Yo, I'm gonna take one for the grab. I'm gonna take one, like when you appreciate your food, you take your food for the grab. Woo! Yeah, boy, get them images. <laughs> Be proud of what you're cooking. All right, so I'm gonna try the first one at least. Dip it in that jerk sauce. Yeah, moment of truth, people. Oh. Mm. You know when you put in that effort, you have this like special jerk like flavor from the scotch bonnet that's in there. You got a nice spice, but then, especially when you grill that chicken, you have this charring on the outside, which is absolutely insane. I'm gonna have it with some of this potato salad. Oh, it's unreal. Like, this is perfect summer. Anyway, I'm going to go eat this. If you enjoyed this video, please do subscribe, like, do all that late night stuff. And I'll see you next time. More cooking videos soon. Peace.